So Wales get the win, it's 42 points to zero against the Italians at the Principality. A very dominating performance from Wales. We're going to have a quick match recap now, and then we're going to get into a little bit of things that I thought were important in the game, and that really stood out to me. So if you're new here, subscribe, leave a like, and leave me your comments in the thoughts down below. Wales took the lead with a penalty through Dan Bigger, uh, an infringement at the breakdown, something the ref was really hot on today, especially with coming in at the side, he was extremely hot on that and then in the seventh minute Thomas Williams thought he had scored for Wales well he knew himself that he hadn't um, but there's a knock on in the build-up uh, Thomas Williams kicks it through places it down but I think 80% of the crowd knew it wasn't a try anyway and the Timo chaired clear knock on um, definitely no try Bigger adds another penalty to Mass Island this time not rolling away after completing the tackle in the 11th minute, uh, a bit of an injury concern uh, for Wes McNichol went off uh, for HIA, but those um, those concerns were quashed very quickly as he came on just under 10 minutes later. But Nick Tompkins came on, and we'll talk more about him in a second, but he had an incredible impact on this match when he came on later on. 15th minute, again, another penalty for Wales, Dan Bigger slotting the kicks. Bigger preferred over half penny for the kicks today. Very interesting that. Um, but Bigger slotting this penalty over this time an attempted trip on half penny as he ran through. But in the 18th minute, we got our first try. Josh Adams, poor defending from Italy. Very simple from Wales. Ball out wide. Um, half penny draws in the defenders and he feeds Josh Adams, who just crashes over. It's a really easy try for Wales. The conversion is unfortunately missed, but it is 14-0 to Wales at this point. And in the 29th minute, we get our next try. Five metres out, Thomas Williams fires the ball out to Bigger, who has the audacity and the class to flick it through his legs. And it's just a beautiful piece of skill, really. He's been playing with a lot of confidence, playing a lot more attacking at Northampton over the past few months. And that was showing today. And the flick through the legs, he's turned his body so the Italian defender expects him to come in from a different angle. But he flicks it through his legs. And Josh Adams, who's probably one of the form wingers in the world right now, finishes the try with a precision. Wales 21-0 up, and that's how it finishes for the first half. The first half stats shows like this. Wales had 60% uh, of the possession, so absolute domination in that area. And 52% of the play was in Italy's 22. That shows how dominant Wales were. But uh, the second half was a little bit different. The first 20 minutes was not the most exciting, if we're being totally honest. And also, it was sloppy. There was no rhythm. There was no flow to the game. Lots of mistakes, lots of knock-ons, infringements at the breakdown. It just didn't flow the way that we were hoping it would. Um, but Wales did get their try, and it was the debutant, Nick Tompkins, who came on again uh, in the 59th minute. Uh, Wales uh, steal the ball on the ground. Corey Hill picks a brilliant line. He runs through. Uh, Bigger then comes round the breakdown, gets the ball, pops up to Tompkins, who takes a brilliant line himself, beats the defender and shows gas, shows footwork and ability to finish the try. It's a brilliant try and he celebrates it and he is ecstatic and he could be the answer. I'm going to be honest, against Italy today, did George North work or did he not have to do anything? And that's the big question. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about him at 13. Nice to see him get a try later on in the match. But how much uh, impact did he really have in that position? And I thought Tompkins did really, really well. George North, though, speaking of him, thought he'd scored a try. But there was a knock-on by Tompkins in the build-up. The slightest touch on his fingertips. But it's certainly the correct decision from the TMO there. But in the 76th minute, it was a try for Wales once again. But this time, George North did cross over. And for his 40th try, he's level with Alfie, with Gareth Thomas on the scoring charts. 40 tries in 92 appearances is not bad at all. And he's not getting on, is he? He's still pretty young. It's ridiculous to think about. Um, but just powers over. Webb uh, feeds it to him. And Alan Wynn literally just grabs him and pulls him over for the try. And uh, Wales leading 35-0. And... And then finally, Wales get the next try. This time it's Josh Adams. Uh, Italy decides to keep the ball alive, try and play after the 80th minute. And Wales fair play to them, try to play as well. And uh, they fire out wide, they go through the phases, and Josh Adams powers over. And uh, the conversion is added by Halfpenny to make it 42-0. So that's what happened in the game. What were my thoughts? 
Originally, attacking-wise, we did really well. I thought thought first half was a, a brilliant performance. I, I think we have to be honest about Italy. Italy started the first five minutes, showed a lot of promise going forward, but they weren't great, and defensively, they were pretty poor, if I'm being totally honest. Silly decisions. Um, we didn't see enough of ball in hand for Italy at all to see what they could really do. Other positives for Wales, Tom Kins had a really good game. Justin Tipperick was named as man of the match, but for me personally, I'd have given it to Thomas Williams, who I thought stepping in for the injured Gareth Davis had a brilliant game. I thought he was lively, got the ball out of the, of the breakdown uh, quickly. He uh, was uh, rushing up with the defence. He put in a great um, charge down as well and just sped the game up and really had that intensity that we needed. I thought when Webb came on, he played well, but he looked a little bit rusty. The only areas of concern for me would be the scrum. I thought we were dominated in the scrum, to be honest. Um, and sometimes what happens is the ref will see who's the most dominant side at the start of the game and will any 50-50 decisions will go with the dominant side. Maybe that's what happened, but we really struggled in that area. That's something that the coaching team are certainly going to have to look at before we face Ireland next week. But overall, a really good performance for Wales, a fantastic result, 42 points to zero. Again, the bonus point, the five points, which was key, and it's going to be key in this tournament. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you for the reaction after Wales, after Ireland, sorry, against Scotland. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.